Hey everybody, it's Margo here at My Favorite Quilt Store and we are getting ready to, sh to, to show how to uh, fussy cut the K Facet Seed Packets Fabric, Packet Quilt. So I have two rulers. One is an eight inch square by So Kind of Wonderful. It's their fussy cut um, ruler. And we also have another one by Omni Grid, I believe. So we have two different ones in um, stock that you can purchase if you need an eight and a eight inch ruler. I like to use this because then I can rotary cut directly around it. And so um, it's much easier for me to use uh, one that I, that I actually have the right size. And then I also got me a four inch, uh, I mean five inch ruler. We only need four and a fourth inch um, squares on this. So I am gonna have to cut it smaller than the ruler, but I will uh, adjust for that. So I'm not gonna cut right now, but we're gonna go through and look at the fabrics and see uh, what I'm talking about when I'm saying uh, what we need to do um, to this. Also, before you, before you start cutting, you should iron all of your fabrics flat. And I also have a sew line chalk pin. Sorry, I forgot to tell you about my sew line chalk pin. I've got that out so that I can um, mark around where I want my um, cuts to be. Okay, since this, since this quilt is gonna be primarily blue, so I've got it sectioned into my large prints, my medium prints, and my small prints. So I've, I've kind of got it um, out to where I know um, what I need to cut. From You need 64 eight inch, eight inch squares. So some of these you're gonna cut four or five um, up to five um, large flowers out of on these large uh, prints. But as you can see, we can cut um, like this white one over here. We can cut a purple one right here. We can cut a tealy blue one right here. Then we can go over here and cut the purple and then get this blue down over here. So you can move around your fabric so what I would do was I would cut, what I would do is first take my fabric and iron it and then decide what what pieces, what florals I wanted um, to showcase in my, um, in my blocks. Now the interesting thing is you don't want all of them to be dead center because it's not gonna be, a, that's not gonna create much interest for you. You want some to kind of be offset. So I'm gonna take my chalk pencil and very carefully because I can I can take this chalk pencil and um, dust it or white it out when I'm when I'm done so I'm first of all going through and picking out where I want that that didn't write hard enough for me where I want to look at my um, what flowers I'm looking at in what sections so that I don't um, accidentally um, cut something and I know where my next cut can go if I've got this kind of marked so I know where my next section can go um, as far as cutting the flower. So I've got this one, I've kind of got it towards the top where it looks down into the quilt. So I'm gonna use a design wall when I um, go to put this quilt uh, together. So, um, and even if you have all of these other flowers that you're currently not um, cutting and using, when we do the four and a half inch square, uh, the four and a quarter, inch blocks we're going to come back and pick up some of these um centers and and some of the florals maybe we'll do a half a floral on one of them so that we get um so that we get a nice variety of of um of uh cuts in here so this one is mainly blue so i know that that's the focal color of this quilt so i'm gonna i'm gonna mark this one as being one of the ones that i want to make sure i cut out of here and this one also up over here, I really like this flower. I think it's beautiful. So I'm gonna try and get this one kind of um, in, in a block also. So the first thing I'm doing is just identifying how many blocks I can cut out of this and where I want to cut. And this is just a chalk pen so I can come back and erase it at any point in time. So I really like this teal flower right here. So I'm gonna move here and put a block around that one. So I've already got three marked and I've got four now that I've picked out of, of large ones that I want to um, cut. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually cut one more because when I get on the design wall, I may uh, change my mind, have a different idea. I do wanna do two of the same ones of this one. I've got plenty of room to cut this one out also. 
I did already get it on the over there, but I really want to have two of these in there because this is a really nice blue that will make it look really, 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 really good. So um, I've got these marked now, and I know I've got five out of this one that I want to um, cut for sure. And I could cut a sixth one down here and get, get um, even something like this would look interesting with two flowers in it um, that are large. Or you could do just this purple if you wanted to get the purple one in here. So this one still has more that I can do. I've got five on here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is identify um, how many I can get out of each fabric. And then I will go back and cut them. So I'm first gonna do the 64 large that I'm gonna get because the last thing I want to do is get through all this and not have enough fabric to um, to make, uh, get all the flowers that I want. So I really like this blue one right here. So I'm gonna make sure I put my uh, marks around it so I can um, make sure I cut this one, one. And this one is even larger than the eight, eight inch square. So this teal one is very nice. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna cut this one out. So now I've got two out of here. Then I need something up over in here, like this green would be nice to put in it to give it a different shade. Also got some teals and blues in here. So what you're gonna have to do is just see when you get your fabric, what um, flowers you wanna put in it. And I just love this pink and um, blue. And so I can either do this one or this one. I've got plenty of room on either of these, but I think I'm gonna do this one right here because it fits within the frame better and I can cut most of the flower within the frame. So I've got four out of this one. So you'll just keep continuing to go through the fabrics until you get all of them marked with your eight inch square first that you wanna cut and then I would go back and cut them. So you would, should make sure that you have 64 or maybe 65 or 66 because there's gonna be something that may not work for you. Once I get all these cut, I'm gonna put them on the design wall. So once they're cut out, the eight and a half, the eight, eight inch squares are cut out, then I'm gonna come back with my four and a half inch ruler. And I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna find some like center of the uh, of flowers that I need for color. Like that one would be beautiful. This one has a lot of purple in it and it's not gonna read as blue. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use um, less of this because it doesn't have, it's gonna read more purple and green. So on your smaller prints, as you can see, it, you could cut them into four and a quarter inch squares, but it's also nice to go in and pick which flowers you wanna cut in this. And it's gonna be more of a multi-flower uh, on the four and a half on some, of the, on some of the cuts that you do. But I would center the smallest, the, the flower in the center of these blocks and have the, the rest of it around it multi-flowered. Same with this one. As you can see, it um, the flower's only about two inches in the middle. So I would center this flower and then cut around it and use these as your um, as the middle of your blocks on the four and a quarter inch. And this is a smaller flower, same thing. Line up your flower and get it in the center. For sure, you're gonna need to fussy cut this one. And these flowers are roughly um, about three and a half to four inches. So you can come through here and cut quite a number of these to be putting in the center of the blocks that are this blue color. And then don't forget to do some other colors because you wanna have some extra colors in here that are gonna give you some uh, different looks around the quilt so that you don't, so that it doesn't look just all blue. But from this, this particular one, you should be able to get a number of nice four inch cuts. Make sure when you're cutting these, that you open your fabric all the way because it's different on the backside. So you're gonna be able to come through and cut this one, this one, this one, and this one. And then here you're gonna be able to cut this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So that's why you can use this to cut many different pieces along the way. Now let's say that you decide that you wanna put some smaller flowers in an, in an eight and a half inch square. There is just no reason why you can't cut this to where three of these flowers or in this particular square. Or if you wanna put this one in the center, because you like it and you want it in the center, you can put these in the blocks also, because it just creates flow and um, maybe a, a place for the eye to rest for a minute in between all the floral cuts. So I hope this has helped you figure out how to cut this fat, fussy cut this fabric. Um, I will be doing a couple more demonstrations on cutting when I get to that point. 
And, um, but I wanted to show you the fabric choices and how I'm thinking about cutting the fabric and making this uh, quilt out. Thanks so much. Happy sewing.